Bye. Hello, we're the Horrors, and this is our London. We're all pretty much in East London. I think we all live about 10 minutes away from each other. I mean, I came here in search of, you know, just hearing better music, I suppose, really, and just being involved in something more exciting than kind of, you know, a small seaside town. On our, um, you know, on tour, we always try and stop off at various record shops. But the record fair happens kind of every two weeks, so when we're around, we all go there kind of religiously every, every fortnight. The reason we all kind of met each other and became friends is because of our shared interest in searching out weird punk 45s. You know, it's a natural progression from uh, being a music fan to wanting to make your own, I think, or at least it should be. Um, yeah, that one's really great, I think. This is our friend Mole, who, uh, who works here and also helps out for this club called Underage, which is, a, as the name suggests, an underage event down in Elephant the Castle. It's pretty much the, one of the coolest places for anyone under 18 to go and see live bands. Last time we played there, uh, Mole was kind of dragged in as security and actually ended up single-handedly holding back um, the, the, the crowd of kids who were going absolutely crazy. As soon as they started, it was just, that was it, we knew it was going to be trouble. And you can't see it in this one, but he spent half the time with the other hand literally holding up my keyboard, which is about to fall off the stage. So I was trying to hold it and play it with Mole suspended underneath, like, oh, uh, Mole the Man of Steel. <laughs> It's always a really happening town for music, but I think the main thing is that it's always all sorts of sounds. You know, you can go out any night and, and hear anything that you want to, I suppose. You get bands like, you know, The Jam, who are, you know, actively singing about locations within, you know, London, or, or, or you know, you get bands where it's less obvious, but they've been, uh, you know, very influenced by it, like The Slits or... You know, the Clash as well, I suppose. The Clash, Public Image, you know. Yeah, uh, this is the Old Blue Last, probably one of our favourite venues and, and bars in East London. Andy, Andy pretty much runs the establishment, and we had a bit of a, a crazy night, which he can tell you more about. Downstairs, underneath this floor here, there's like a glass ceiling from the like, Victorian era, um, and we felt the floor going like this quite a lot when the band were playing. We went downstairs, and the glass ceiling was doing this, and all the glass things started to crack because of the frosty, the horrid performance. Pretty much as the, as the last note rang out, some of the glass started to come out of the ceiling. And, uh, well, it's sad, but the, the cat we had, little Jimmy, a jar of glass went in his neck, squirting blood everywhere all over the kids. There's kids running out of the venue screaming, having blood. We didn't have any uh, idea of what was going on, because we were obviously just up on stage. It was like Altamont meets the Guns N' Roses concert at Donington, where everyone died. Plus the Stooges, when he was covered in peanut butter, all at the same time. Well, the upshot of the gig was, cost us a million pound in damages, and we lost little Jimmy, the house cat. <laughs> 